You've heard all about the animosity between these two through a lengthy build-up and it was only finalised last weekend when finally eight two-minute rounds was decided upon. It's Paul Galen and Josh Alloyer. Uh, he's making his professional boxing debut, but as we just heard from Joey and as we've been hearing for quite a number of years around gyms through New South Wales, he can fight a bit and uh, you must be pretty excited, Josh, to finally be able to uh, try and qualify those rumours and show people that you can actually throw them. Yeah, just um, feel very blessed and privileged to be fighting on main event as someone um, who grew up loving boxing and watching boxing and now get to um, headline a card like this. I I'm really thankful. Um, I guess the best, thing, the best thing I can do to show that I truly respect boxing is not go out there and look like a football player, but get out there and people will know that I've worked on this craft since I was a kid and that uh, I I'm a boxer when I get in that ring, not a football player. Was there any uh, idea around having perhaps an easier fight to start things off before you went into a fight with Paul Gallen, or is this always what you wanted to do off the bat? Initially, I thought that um, I wouldn't get the Gallen fight straight away. Um, I thought that I'd have to work towards it, but I think at, at this stage it's been pretty hard to find an opponent. Um, so when they offered it, um, I was ready for it. Um, it, does, it doesn't bother me too much uh, either way, whether it was uh, the long route or or the short one, which it is now, uh, I knew that, I, I, I really thought that we were going to clash at some point. Um, why not now? He had a lot of things to say, particularly last week, but he has done in recent weeks. Uh, some of them are pretty nasty. Uh, why do you think he's responding like that? What do you think you've done to get so far into his skin? Yeah, I'm not too sure. Look, he can, um, he can, he can run down my religious uh, beliefs and talk about my Pacific Island culture and all that kind of stuff. He can be respectful, he can be disrespectful leading up to it. Once we get in there, I'll be, I'll be in there to knock his head off. So however he wants to, to act leading up to it, it doesn't really change the fact that I'm going to get in there and knock his head off. How do you look back over the whole conversation to get to eight two-minute rounds? Um, do you feel that um, you should have stuck with the six threes originally agreed or are you happy we have ended up? Uh, One-sided questioning, nice. Um, so, obviously, everyone's sick of hearing, the, hearing about the, the rounds, the number of rounds, the minutes. There's plenty of time in there to, to get what we need done. Um, I, I, don't think it, I don't think it's going to go the distance. Um, if it does, regardless, I, I've got, I've got some, some secret weapons in my training camp at the moment. I've got some, some guys that offer a lot more power and pressure and uh, ring IQ than um, Paulie over there, so... Uh, however, however it pans out, I'll be, I'll be more than ready. You will have watched his most recent fights, including the Justice Hooney fight. What did you see? Yeah, look, I, I thought it was pretty courageous of him, to be honest with you, to take on um, Justice Hooney, um, one of the great fighters out of Australia. Um, I thought that was pretty courageous. And I think within the fight, um, he felt that he was out of depth, um, probably third or fourth round, and he just went into survival mode and tried to get through the rounds and um, kind of stop going after the win. That's, that's what I feel, and I think that's what a lot of the boxing community feel. But, you know, there's, there's a lot of respect in there for how long he lasted, but I think he went into survival mode rather than trying to win the fight. He clearly doesn't like you very much, but what do you think of Paul Gallen? At the end of the day, this is just a fight for me. You know, it's my first pro fight, but it's not my first fight. Um, whether it's in life or in the ring or outside of the ring, it's not my first fight. It was... Uh, I'm, I'm not that worried. He's, he's, a, he's a good fighter. He's, he's done some good stuff. But um, if I didn't think I'd beat him, if I didn't know that I'd beat him, I wouldn't take the fight. I wouldn't get out there and embarrass myself. So um, I, there's just rumours whether I'm good or not. So we'll, we'll find out if I'm any good. Give us your prediction then for how things do go down in this fight. Um, I think he'll come in with the same pressure and aggression that he usually does, um, particularly early on, um, which we've seen in pretty much all his fights. And... Um, I think it could get stopped early. Thank you very much to Josh Aloye. And we go over to his opponent, who will be having uh, his 14th professional fight. Paul, welcome. Thanks for coming to today's press conference and uh, sitting alongside your opponent. Um, what have you made of the whole build-up to this? It's been pretty nasty. Oh, look, it's just been frustrating. I mean, he's a guy who, from day one, has said he's grown up with boxing. He's been boxing since he could walk. Uh, he's even said he's got more experience than me. Anyone who knows anything about boxing knows that he will win the fight. Yet he's got three guys down here sitting in front of him. He's going to earn more money than on, a, on, Friday, on the Friday the 10th of December. He's going to earn more money than three, these three guys down there. He's fighting two-minute rounds. It's embarrassing. 
He embraced the sport. He sat there a moment ago and said that he wants to do the right thing by the sport and look like a boxer. We'll do the right thing by the sport and fight the three-minute rounds. That's the right thing by the sport. Do it properly. If you're going to do it, do it properly. I haven't signed the contract. I haven't even been sent the contract. I don't send the contracts, by the way, Oshie. But, mate, do it properly. Why, do, why, do, why won't you do it properly? Are you not a little bit embarrassed to sit there in front of these three blacks in front of you, earn probably ten times the amount of money they're going to earn and fight two-minute rounds? Is that not a little bit embarrassing to you? Got a response for us, Josh? Oh, does the... Then I just asked you a question. Is, is, that, is it a bit embarrassing or not? Were you embarrassed in the three or four fights that you you done two minute rounds? Yeah, I was. A and I, money? I was, and I blew up every time. But the difference between you and them opponents were they weren't at the start saying you've boxed since you could walk, you're, the, you're better boxer than me, you've got you've got more experience than me. Those words come out of your mouth. You have more ring experience than me. I may have had more fights, but you've got more experience. Those words come out of your mouth. You said it, not me. I never said it. So if you're so good and you've got so much experience, why are we fighting two minute rounds for? You've had that many pro fights. I don't know why you're so worried about the rounds. There's plenty of time Because in it's there. what boxing is, There's mate. There's plenty of time Boxing's in there. Boxing is three-minute rounds. It's a war of attrition. It's not just getting in there for two minutes. It's a war of attrition. That's what the game is. Why don't you want to fight three-minute rounds? Can you answer that question? Are you worried about uh, the eight two-minute rounds? Paulie? No, I'm not No, I'll fight you, I'll fight you eight three-minute I'll fight you ten three-minute rounds if you want to. I just want to do three-minute rounds. That's the way boxing's supposed to be. Why don't you want to do that? Too late. We're sticking with the twos. Can't answer that. And then a moment ago, you, you I just thought we already agreed on the live. You were on the live. You were on the live as well. How was it? Yeah, we agreed on it already. Okay. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I'm not going back on it. I'm going to fight you no matter what. But I'm saying, do you want to do the right thing by boxing? The question to, I asked you, are you not a little bit embarrassed that you're sitting there in front of these three guys down there, you're going to earn a whole lot more money then, yet you're only fighting two-minute rounds? Are you not a little bit embarrassed about that? All the media and everyone is so bored of you talking about this. They no, just want to talk. About, they just want to get rid, get rid of the fight. Everyone's here is clocked off. They're on their phones. It's what, it's what, <laughs> it's what, it's what boxing the is. The same stuff. The, you might as well go watch the Barry Hall press conference. It's exactly the same. Copy and paste. It's exactly. Come on, Paulie. I, I, I want to fight, fight, fight three minute rounds there too, and we didn't. Gal, aside from the rounds issue, uh, clearly you're not a big fan of Josh, and why is that? Look, to be honest with you, I haven't got too much against him at all. I, I just was warned of it many... It feel like that. Yeah, but I was, I was warned of many years ago about him that he's just not the person he makes out to be, and I've seen that in this build-up to this fight. I saw it last week, and so the people that have told me that were telling me the truth. I don't have too much. He's done nothing wrong to me, so it's not like I have anything against him, or, but I just, I've seen the, the arrogance and the condescending nature that he goes by, and it's just he puts out this nice guy persona, and it's just... People told me a couple of years ago about it, and now I believe it. And you're under the impression he's been going around saying that he's going to have this fight eventually and beat you clearly. Well, that's that's what I've heard. Yeah, I've been. I've, I mean, I know his team. His team's you know, Hustle's a nice guy, but you know, I've done hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of rounds against his guys over the years, and so they know everything about me. I know nothing about this guy, so he's got a, a bit of an advantage there. Um, and yeah, rumour has it in the footy circus has been saying he can beat me, so. I guess we're going to find out over two minute rounds, which is disappointing. But if you, I just don't understand. If he's so good, he's got so much experience, let's do it properly. If he beats me over three minute rounds, over six, eight, ten, whatever the rounds are, I shake his hand, I walk away, he wins fair and square. We're fighting two minute rounds. It's not what the game's about. Have you seen any footage of him? Did you see his amateur fights or any bits and pieces of his training to, to know whether he can fight? No, nah, no, I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen any, any footage of him. I don't know if there is any footage of him fighting, so I'm not too sure, but... Um, yeah, from all reports, he's grown up with it from, from coming out of his own mouth. He grew up boxing. He's boxing as he could walk, and he's got plenty of experience. So that's, that's about all I know. I only know what's come out of his mouth. Are you surprised by his level of confidence to come out here and say he's going to stop you early? No, like I was, as I said, man, I was warned about him many years ago about what he's like. So, and in this boxing game, you have, you have to have confidence. So good on him for having that confidence. But, um, yeah, I don't think he'd be stopping me at all. Do you have to make a statement when you're fighting against essentially a footy player when you've gone to the next level and sort of come back to this? Do you have to go out there and show people that you can proper fight? I've just got to win. That's, that's what it comes down to. Going out there, training hard in the next uh, five weeks and getting in there on the night and getting a win, that's what it comes down to. It doesn't matter how I do it, when I do it, where I do it. i just got to get in there and get the job done and get the win and um, that's what I'm going to do. Do you respect him as a footy player? No, I don't, I don't think he's a good footy player at all. No, I think he's a... He's got a job to do in a team. That's about it. I mean, he, he left. We, we talk, you talked talk about contracts the other day too, Oshi. Didn't you walk out in the West Tigers? So contracts are worth about as much as the paper they're written on. You know that. So like this eight, two-minute round contract doesn't mean too much. I'm happy to come over there, shake your hand on, on three-minute rounds if you want to do that. I don't think he's going to do it, mate. Yeah. I, I thought so.
You got anything else you want to say, Josh, before we wrap things up here, mate? No, I'm happy and ready to go. We, we made the agreement on the rounds and the time and sorry, guys, I've talked about it more than I thought I would and hopefully we stop talking about it and just get ready for a good fight. Um, looking forward to all the other fights and like I said, very lucky to be um, headlining the main event and put on a good show. Before we get your final words, Paul, uh, just a, a word on these other fighters, these other fights that are going to take place over the course of the two days. Uh, you as a boxing fan must be excited to be a part of uh, Harry Garside's professional debut, Sam Goodman, Andrew Maloney, former world champion. Yeah, Maloney, obviously the night before, is going to be good. And you now I saw some of these recent fights and you feel sorry for the way some of them panned out. Uh, Sam's obviously a great young fighter, as you know, and, and Harry... I was lucky enough to meet Harry before he went to the Olympics and just a real nice guy and you know, followed him obviously immensely when he was at the Olympic Games and, and so happy and proud that he won a bronze medal. I first medal for a long, long time for Australia and now he's turning pro. So, uh, yeah, if I can help promote him or any, any, any one of them guys, I'm, I'm happy to do it. And, um, yeah, fingers crossed we can get a huge following for them going forward and they can show how good they are and, and keep their career going and end up where they want to end up. What about Leilua and Hyington? What happens there? Yeah, that, that's going to be a really interesting fight. Yeah, I mean, um, this fellow here next to me is very powerful. Um, very powerful. I know that from... Uh, played against him a number, a number of times. So power runs out fast, so and Hino's fit. So whether Joe can catch him early, I'm not too sure. But I did do some sparring with Hino probably five, six, seven years ago, and, and he did know what he was doing. So and he's only gotten better since then. So, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tip Hino. And your final words on your own fight and the animosity against Josh Aloye. Uh, what happens in that fight and what should we expect between now and then? Look, uh, the animosity is... You know, we're going to fight each other, so there's going to be naturally anim- animosity there. We, you know, we, we're trying to take something personal of each other, so there's going to be animosity there. I, I, against him personally, I don't have a lot against him. You know, he, he brought up his religion and, and Pacific Island heritage. That's got nothing to do with it. I haven't made, mentioned that. So I don't know who wants to bring stuff like that up for. Um, I win the fight. That's what I'm there to do. That's what I'm going to do. How I do it, when I do it, I, I don't care. I don't care if it goes eight rounds, eight two minute rounds, and 16 minutes worth of work. It's pretty laughable. Um, I'll get through that fitness-wise. Um, again, if he wants to man up in the next five weeks, shake hands and, and make it three minute rounds, I'm happy to do that. If not, we're fighting eight twos and I'll get the job done. That's the way it's going to go. Thank you very much to all of our boxers. We're going to face off the two footy fights. So we're going to get uh, Chris... If you can head down the front, and Joey as well, head down the front, mate, and in front of these front tables, you can uh, face off for us, and then we'll do the same with Gallen and Aloye. You boys down the front can probably walk off to the side if you like. But everyone's available to the members of the media, just face each other. So to repeat the details, it's Thursday the 9th and Friday the 10th of December. It'll all take place at the Newcastle Entertainment Centre. The 9th is headlined by Maloney and Saluda. You can see that on Fox Sports. Then on Friday the 10th, we'll have Gallen and Aloye with these two fighting on the undercard as well. And that will be on main event pay-per-view. Thanks a lot to Baylor and Hyington. We'll now get Aloye and Gallen. So this will be your main event on Friday the 10th of December. You'll see it on main event television. It is Paul Gallen and Josh Aloye. Thanks so much for joining us here at today's press conference. I'm Ben Damon. I'll see you at the fights.